Hi guys, I'm Debbie from Debbie Travels and today we actually want to talk about Switzerland and especially about Zurich. We want to find out if there is actually a budget way to stay in Zurich. A budget way in Zurich? Yes guys, it is possible. Just stay tuned. First we want to start with transportation. Avoid taxis. Avoid them. If you are arriving at the airport of Zurich, just go to terminal number three, you go all the way downstairs and you take your train, your S16 or any other train that goes to the central station in Zurich. If possible, purchase your tickets already online from your home country because that will even save you some dollars. You can either buy a rail pass if you are a European citizen or an interrail pass if you are an international citizen. Now, if you have missed that already, don't worry. There are also some other things that you can do once you are already in the country. You can just go to spd.ch online and actually purchase a, a saving ticket, like called a German Spar ticket for a specific train ride from A to B. So you can get a special rate also online once you are already in Switzerland. However, be alert, there's one drawback to the special tickets, to the Spar tickets. Be alert that once you purchase it, you cannot miss your train because you will not get a refund on it. Furthermore, there we have a nice app that is called spb.ch app. And you can find all the train, bus, tram, ferries, boat schedules of Switzerland on that app. So make sure you get it on your on your cell phone before you come here, or even you come here and you find and you're gonna find your fastest connection. There is to say that trains are very punctual in Switzerland, and once a train is late for about two minutes, people already are getting nervous at the train station, so definitely you will get there on time. There is also a second and a first class on the trains, but actually you can just purchase the second class because there is no big difference between the two. Also, the second class is very comfortable, very clean, so... Definitely, you can go for the lower price here and you will be just comfortable and fast. Another option, if you like private transportation here in Switzerland, you can also take an Uber. Yes, we have it. It is about half the price of a regular taxi. However, be aware that the Uber Pop version does not exist anymore here since they have regulated it a little bit and they cut that out of the program so the cheapest version is unfortunately gone but it is still an affordable way to get to your destination now let's talk about food my first advice here is like avoid going to any restaurants because they are super expensive in zurich and you can buy a pizza for about 20 swiss francs and yes you heard right 20 swiss francs for a regular pizza so avoid going to those places and instead go to a grocery store. We actually have Lidl, we have Aldi, we have Migros, we have Dinner. We also have the Coop, which is already a little bit more expensive, but it's still a good alternative to any restaurants. You can buy your fruits, your breakfast, everything there actually. And if you go towards the evening, close to the closing hours, then you can even get like a 50% special on any sandwiches, on salads, and sometimes even on meat. Just make sure you have like somewhere to cook it. Another option, if you would like to eat some restaurant food, is download the app Too Good To Go. And yes, it works. We have like several restaurants taking part in the program. There is like a Globus, a Bahnhofstrasse, a Manor restaurant, a Bahnhofstrasse, the Tea Bits. We have also various bakeries taking part in the program. It allows you to get the food, the same food that was on the menu and on the buffet after closing hours in the restaurant. And whatever it was left over from the buffet, you can actually purchase it at a really nice price. So you can get, for example, a whole tippets bag of food for like 
790, which is really affordable here in Zurich. So that is a nice way and it even helps the environment. So you can only do good with this one. The really nice point to mention, it is about our water. For the water, you can definitely save every dollar that you would spend everywhere else. Because here in Switzerland, you can just bring your drinking bottle, you go to the next public fountain, you fill it up and you are good to go again. Because unless it is written on the fountain that you cannot drink the water, you can drink the water throughout whole Switzerland. From the tap, from the public fountains, anywhere that you can basically find it. But the river, of course. Since you are in Switzerland, you will definitely also want to buy and try our famous Swiss chocolate. Now, my advice is don't go to the overly expensive and overly priced Sprüngli and all those chocolate stores at Bahnhofstrasse unless you really want that experience. But otherwise, if it's about the chocolate, go to any grocery store, like for example, Aldi, Denner, Migros, Lidl, and they actually sell you the chocolate bars in a really nice package. And it has a nice design, you can bring it home, you get a lot of chocolate and it's really cheap. It's about 50 or 60 cents per chocolate. Now, since you're here in Zurich to see something, let's talk about activities. If you want to see the whole city in the day by bicycle, you have a good option because we actually provide free bicycle transportation. So you just need to bring your ID card, your passport, and you can go to any of those stations. You leave it there as a deposit, your ID card, and you get the bicycle. In the evening, when you can just return the bicycle there and you receive your ID back and there's no money involved into that. So that is a really nice free way that you can see all the places that you like throughout the city. Then if you want to go out at night, it can be a little bit tricky at bars or clubs. If you just want to purchase a beer, fine. But if you actually want to drink a cocktail, oof, it goes up to 16 or 18 francs per cocktail. Yes, 16 or 18 francs. Where do you see these prices otherwise? So just make sure that you buy your alcoholic beverages from a store in advance and you can actually drink it outside. Just make sure you don't try to bring it inside. Now, talking about the accommodation, I would definitely suggest you would take a hostel or if you're not that into that, choose an Airbnb. And Airbnb, there are many options and you even get a kitchen so you can also save on food and sometimes you get to use a washing machine so you can finally wash your clothes after traveling for such a long time. So the Airbnb definitely has some nice advantages and it's also very centrally located if that's what you would like. Well guys, I hope that you have fun. I hope that I could give you some valuable tips to stay on a budget when you come to Zurich, whether this is your trip to Zurich, where you just come here and may want to live here. So take the advice and I hope that you have a wonderful time here. See you guys next time. Bye!